Hey everyone, thank you for visiting my channel and today I finally have a little sketchbook tour on this little guy that I've been carrying around with me. I have some other sketchbooks but to make a full video of a sketchbook tour of all my sketchbooks it would be a video that is over an hour long so I decided to just go one at a time and this is the one that I have been using the most uh, it's more than halfway done so let me get to it this is a mini sketchbook from De La Roni. I hopefully hopefully I'm pronouncing this right uh, and yeah let me just kill the curiosity out there. Anyway, so first and foremost, I have uh, some swatches of Prismacolor markers. Uh, these are very old markers that I have on my stash, but I never got to use them. So before going to Copics, I wanted to make sure that this is a medium for me. And I thought I would try first with Prismacolors. Uh, and this one, okay, so, you know, because it's a sketchbook, I decided to remind myself that the possibility in it are limitless, because sometimes I try to make it too perfect, and it doesn't come out good, and I get frustrated, and put the thing to the side and say, I don't want to use you anymore, because you're not cooperating with me, but anyway. So I decided to remind myself that this is just a sketchbook and it can be flawed. It can be messed up, it can be messy. So here I have some um, figure drawing studies. I love how sketchbooks are filled with studies, at least the ones that I've seen out there. I love the way they look. I don't know if it's just me, but I think they're the more figure studies there are, the better they look. And I should do that on my own sketchbooks, but I don't. Anyway, so yeah, I have some figure drawing studies here. And then I have a little sketch of sadness. My sister, she moved out of town and I made a, a little drawing to tell her that I was sad. Uh, I had this done, this, uh, this is the Prismacolor markers and some fine liners that I used to make this one. I really liked how it came out. Uh, whenever I didn't like a drawing, I covered it all in gesso and mm, it didn't really work the way I expected to. So I just keep, decided to skip the pages and whenever it bled through, I, I thought that I could cover everything which is so and make a new drawing. I, I still can, but I feel I feel it's a little distracting to make a drawing there. Uh, this is a self-portrait that I made. Let me have my coffee first. This is something I tell my husband almost every morning. <laughs> and then another just so cover page. Um, this is my the sketch of my husband. He was just sitting there on his phone, chilling, and I a little sketch. It's a sketch of me in my studio trying to draw something and my son is in, <laughs> he's in his room calling the dog. His name was Torch. He passed away. But anyway, and I just wanted to draw something. So uh, this is a sketch of my cousin. Her hand is not that big, I swear. And doo -doo -doo. Horses. I love horses. I think there's so beautiful and the value of their muscles are just amazing. I love the way they look um, and I love making drawings of horses and I, I hope I'm not the only one. I don't think I am. Uh, some rose. Uh, uh, this is a little girl from my church and I saw a picture of her on my Facebook and I thought it was really cute but I could not get her face done right <laughs> and I still can't I'm sorry little girl you're cute but I can't draw you uh, this is a little watercolor uh, painting uh, that I did on my sketchbook and 
I have some reference uh, from the photo that I did. This is from a website called paintmyphotopmp.com and they have a ton of pictures that you can use royalty free for your artwork. So it's pretty cool. This is a tulip and I did, did this with uh, the Stadler, Stadler Fine Liners. Mm, I don't think this is how you're supposed to use them, but anyway, I use them like that because it's my sketchbook and I can mess up if I want. Uh, a little blossom tree with watercolors, um, another tree with watercolors, and then I have here some study of profile faces and some Proco side view notes. And then this is another drawing that I did in profile. This I use the blah, 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 Prisma markers, yes. And some fine liner. Some just some random fine liner. I don't even remember the brand. Oh, it was probably like the Stadler one. Yeah. I had just got them, so I was trying them out. Uh okay, so whenever I had my chemo. If you guys out there, if this is the first video you're watching, I made another video on my breast cancer testimony, so give it a click there. Uh, so whenever I went for my chemo, I would spend hours, and I mean hours by getting there at 7, 8 a.m. and just leaving after 5. So, and that was basically the waiting time. I would wait until 12 and then I would be seen and then chemo time was between three to five hours long so I had nothing to do for a long time so I brought this guy with me and this guy I mean this sketchbook I'm not just some random guy anyway I brought the sketchbook with me and I decided to draw some people and it was, I loved those pages I really loved enjoyed um, loved and enjoyed watching people's expressions um, like this guy he looked concerned this lady she fell asleep but she was uh, under treatment so it's totally understandable because when you're doing chemo you get very tired all the time so yeah a lot of people some people watching TV some people again sleeping um, yeah and then this is my mother-in-law she was with me that day uh, for chemo, so I was receiving chemo and trying to draw her. <laughs> this is a little made up drawing that I did, and I'll probably make this in watercolor and call it a character, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I can make a little character drawing, whatever. I really love youth, you know, like I'm part of a youth group and I love everything that has to do with it. So maybe I'll make something for the youth. Who knows? Who knows? Future projects. A uh, little sketch of my feet because I was bored and why not draw when you're bored? So you can learn while you're bored. Uh, I saw this on someone's Instagram and I decided to make a little doodle out of, out of it. Um, this was a waiting room, chemo time. Okay, so in my church we have uh, Bible study groups. Um, we call them edification groups. And I was trying to draw my friends <laughs> while we were like worshiping, but it didn't really work because I had to choose between actually worshiping God or drawing. And I chose, you know, to worship God instead. This is from the waiting room. Again, so I saw an artist doing a cheap art challenge. I forgot her name. I'm so sorry, but if you're out there and if you watch this, I'm sorry. Anyway, so I did a little study based on her drawing because I thought it was really cute. Uh, this is a failed, failed self portrait, fail big time, but it's a trying out the like this technique where I can use the um, red mechanical pencils and fine liners together so that was a start and then uh, you'll see how it comes out uh, this is a little drawing that I did and I started developing this style later on 
I just went back to it and added the um, the black line lining work into it. Sorry if I bumped into the camera. And I really I'm really enjoying how this style is coming out, and I think that I'm gonna develop a little more. So I have some more waiting room sketches. And then this is a little watercolor drawing that I did. And of course it's not this is not watercolor papers, so it kind of sucks the way it looks. But anyway. Uh, another made-up character. Made up character. And here I was trying the test of a new pen that I got. I think it's a Pentel signature brush pen. And it's pretty cool to work with, but it's not the pocket brush pen, which is the one that I should have gotten in. I, did, I didn't do my research right. Uh, a little sketch of my son because he's cute. And then a little made up drawing, little doodle. This I saw a picture on Pinterest that I liked. Uh, so this is where the styles are starting to develop a little more. And yes. Uh, oh, uh, no. The hands are not right, and the head it's not, and the flower it's not. Anyway, uh, this is my sister. I was making a little watercolor painting of her, and I was doing some studies on her face. Uh, this was a little study I was doing for my my testimony video. Uh, some waiting room drawings. No waiting room. This couple was cute. Uh, some hand studies because everybody needs to study the hands because they're so complicated to draw. I always avoid them, but yeah. Um, so my cousin, she lives in Italy and she takes really good pictures uh, over there. So I decided to just do a little sketch. And this is the last drawing that I did. And again, the fine line work is just, I love the red mechanical pencil against the heavy black line so this is it um the other half of the sketchbook is to be continued so whenever i finish this guy up i'll do a part two of the sketchbook tour of the mini one anyway uh the other ones i guess whenever i'm finished with them i'll go over them and anyway i don't want this video to be super duper long so i'm just gonna end here and god bless you like i hope you guys are having a blast week i don't know I know that my week is going to be a blessing. It is a blessing already. Anyway, bye guys.